If you can't afford the gym, you are overlooking the free exercise of walking. Too many people spend a lot of time trying to get to the gym where they can't afford it. And what happens is they just don't do it. You need to start walking today if that's what only you can afford. My name is Nick Tabor. I'm a personal trainer and I talk about this stuff because I've lived through it now. Oh man, I, oh wow, I was going to tell you a story now here. 27 years old, I was almost getting married and my mom was the nurse manager of the uh, doctor's office I went to. I'm going for my routine physical and, you know, she's doing a whole nurse Tabor thing and she looks at me all right, Mr. Tabor, can you stay? She's being like steady nurse, right? And she walks uh, over to the scale. So, okay, please step on the scale. And it hits the scale and I was 280 pounds. And she looked at me, immediately drops the nurse act and just becomes mom. And she looks at me with that look, but what are you doing? What is going on? What's the matter with you? And she says, I don't want to scare you, but I will. But that is the way dad was when he had a heart attack. You need to fix yourself up because by the time you're 35, your wife is going to have to bury you if you keep going this way. Message received loud and clear. So I'm like, all right, I got to fix this up. But I couldn't afford to uh, go to a gym at that given moment. I couldn't, um, I couldn't spend any of that because my budget was just completely constrained with student loans. But what do we, what can we do? I got this job, I got this great thing, I'm about to get married and we're, we're taking off to Italy. Well, <laughs> I live two and a half miles away from my job door to door. So I started walking. <laughs> that was it. So, all right, well, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to give myself plenty of time. My job, uh, I don't know, sometimes I think it started at 9 o'clock at that time or whenever it started. If it started at 9 o'clock, I backed myself up plenty of time. I gave myself an hour and a half to walk two and a half miles and then walk two and a half miles back. Now, there is the thing like eating right and uh, making sure that, but it's easy, um, eating right, making sure that um, everything else is good, um, like, you know, making sure you're in the cardio zone and all that, but we're not getting into that today because this particular video is just about getting started. You can easily get time to walk somewhere, and if you could find, you know, like, oh, no, I don't have time to do that. No, no. You possibly watch hours upon hours of Netflix, or you possibly spend a lot of time on the internet, or you're sitting in a chair a lot of times during the day. Now, you only need a half hour to 45 minutes every given day, or maybe every other day or so, and you're fine. You start losing weight from there. And as long as you're eating right and eating good foods and not the food that doesn't love you, click on the link here for uh, the Not That video. Uh, we'll go into that. Um, but if you do it right, you'll be fine. And you are going to shed that weight. And it's not going to cost you a single penny. And who knows? You might actually find out a lot about the city you live in that you may have never even known about just by wandering around, you know. Now, here's what you do. I got a three-step process that can go ahead and help you out. Number one, you're going to do some research. Find the best pathways. Ask some people, hey, you take walks. Where do you go? Uh, but do this lightly. Um, you know your immediate neighborhood. Possibly. If you do, great. If not, you know, look around, okay. Um, but you do not need to search police logs or anything like that. But um, genuinely do research. The couple best things to do is, um, you know, go on Facebook groups, see if there's any walking groups in the city or any act active groups there um, that, you know, people say like, hey, you know, I'm looking to walk around Fall River. What's the best walking route? Um, or wherever city you live. I live in Fall River, Mass. Um, 
you know, the governments uh, usually do that. Um, I know our city just opened up a walking route as well, and they're, exp well, a few years ago, but they're expanding it. So you can, um, you know, look and say, hey, what's the best walking routes? And that'll help you out. You know, that'll be good. There's a great couple areas, maybe some local parks that you haven't checked out as well. That can definitely help. But don't go crazy with the research like you have to prepare the perfect route. Because number one, you got to get out of this chair, right? So just get out and go. But here's a couple more steps. Number two, hydrate. Okay. Have a bottle of water with you. Uh, to sip on from time to time, and even have a snack uh, in a bag. I know the first few times, I usually if I go for a long, long walk or a run, I have a backpack with me, and I usually have a couple granola bars and this big bottle of water that's about a third of a gallon. So if I need to do that, or if I need to stop somewhere, or I should probably add that as a step two, find where the bathroom is all too. <laughs> Because <laughs> yes, that's where like, oh, walking's great, but Jesus Christ, I got to go to the bathroom. You don't want to do that. But what you got to do, stay hydrated, especially in the warmer weather months. Um, you know, as I said, I live in, uh, I live in a south coast city of Massachusetts. Um, there are going to be times where it's super bloody hot. And this is all, yeah, back up. This is one of the things you're also going to need to know when you... Uh, research is what days are good you know when it, when is the weather good if it's really super hot you don't want to you know you obviously don't want to work or work with that but um, hydrate because your body while it sweats is going to need to replenish have a snack with you as well so you can replenish the salt that you're sweating out too that'll definitely help you but this is a lifesaver number three or at it, have the right pair of shoes. And I cannot stress this enough. I wish I had my running shoes with me, but even if it's just a pair of sneakers, that is the first thing because you need to support your feet. I see these um, wrap shoes. Not a big fan of those, honestly, because the first thing you need to do is you need to support that heel and you need to support that bottom of your foot. As you're walking and as you're hitting the pavement, your body is contorting and, you know, depending upon the area, you need to keep your feet safe. So you should have a decent pair of shoes. Do not use office shoes or loafers or slippers or something because those are, can be the worst for you. There is absolutely no support on the bottom of your foot. I don't want you to do that because the worst thing in the world is we don't want you to get hurt. It should be an enjoyable experience as you're on your weight loss journey and you're going to be able to become that better person. Yeah. So get out there and walk today. Now I mentioned a video of food that loves you. Here it is right here. Go ahead and grab that. And as always, we climb and I'll see you there.